guys, welcome back to Lipixel. I'm so sorry, I have not filmed a video in a very long time. Um, I'm just gonna cut, <clears throat> can't even speak. I'm just gonna do a quick update on kind of what's been happening. Um, I did foster one puppy since then, she was a year old. Um, just since all the animals had to go out to foster during quarantine, we fostered her. So yeah, um, if you guys want to do like a, if you guys want me to do like a more story time video about her, then I can definitely do that. But I'll insert a picture of her right here. And then I will be doing a Q&A soon. So make sure you guys leave any questions you guys have down below. They can be anything like kitten related, not kitten related. It doesn't matter. Forgot to mention that I'm going to be getting foster kittens tomorrow. I'm not sure if I'm getting bottle babies or not, but I really want bottle babies and they've been having a lot of kittens. So more than likely I'm getting bottle babies. So I went ahead and prepared for bottle babies, but if it's not a bottle baby, I can easily just set quickly set up a little area for older. So everything in this video will be linked in the description box down below or something similar. If I can't find the exact item, I will link a similar item down below. So for, I have this nightstand just in front of my window. I did switch rooms, so you guys want a room tour, I can definitely do that. But now I have carpet, which makes it harder to foster, but still possible. I'm gonna be doing a video soon on like how to foster with carpet and how to properly sanitize it and stuff between litters. But it's, it's harder, but with newborn kittens, it's easier. So this video is just gonna kind of be like, pretty much anywhere you have a newborn kitten just gonna be the same setup, rather it's carpet or hardwood. So I'm gonna start up here. So up here, I have my digital scale. It does, or um, has pounds and ounces. It does some of these kitten progress like charts or whatever. Um, these are off of, I believe like Maddie's Fun is what it's called website and then I don't know if I can find them or I'll link them down below, but otherwise I'm I don't know where they came from. <laughs> I just found them online and printed them. So I have these here because you have to like monitor their weight every time you feed them. And then I have this here, which is just a blanket and it has a heating pad that plugs in. So this will just plug in here whenever I'm ready to use it. And then so whenever I'm feeding them, they can stay warm as well as whenever they're in there. Um, cage where they'll be staying. Then I have a basket on top here. And I forgot to mention, I just have like this extra nightstand that I decided to put in front of my window to keep my little area. So uh, this is everything I'll be using on a daily basis. Stuff that I'm not using on a daily basis, I keep in my closet up there. I have some there and over here. If you guys wanna do like a kitten closet tour, I can do that. With like my supplies closet pretty much is like what it is for my kittens. So, but in here, I just have some bottles. Oops. Um, I need to get a new Miracle Nipple because I haven't used Miracle Nipple in a long time and it was like melted. I don't know how that happened. But I have just two, three bottles. I'm going to sanitize these obviously before I use them. They're clean. They're just not like sanitized. Um, and these have two different nipples on them. So, I'm not sure like the brand or anything. I know the brand of the bottles, but I'm not sure of the brand of the nipples because I kind of just switched the nipples with the bottles. I don't keep them with the same brand they came with. I'm also getting a syringe to put in here as well for it depending on how old the kittens are. I have baby wipes because it was really easy to clean them. Then I have two extra blankets just if they like go to the bathroom in the middle of the night or whatever. If I don't want to go to my closet to like find blankets, I just have two here ready to use toilet paper for stimulating them and then some dog bags because it's easy just to like put their wipes in or whatever so I don't have to like and it helps with the smell because I can put it in here and then just take out put these in the trash can and then take these out my trash can out like once a day rather than taking these out like every few hours or I mean just like the wipes every few hours because otherwise my room will stink really quick. And then I have some baby soap. I recommend natural baby soup, soap, which I don't have any right now. I have this brand, um, Baby Dove, and then Johnson's Baby. But I definitely recommend a natural brand. I'll be getting Burt's Bees, is what I normally use. And I'll be getting some of that 
that I'll be using before I get kittens tomorrow. Then under here, I decided to keep the tote. Um, it has like this cord that goes down here, but obviously they aren't gonna be able to get to that since they're me so young. Why I decided to keep it under here instead of just like, you know, somewhere else is because if my dogs do somehow get in my room, the gap is so small they won't be able to get in their head to get them. And also, so the fan, I sleep with the fan on and always have my fan on. Uh, it doesn't like blow cold air on them. So that's why I decided to do it like that. And then whenever I'm ready to feed them, I can just, you know, pull it out, pick up a kitten, put it here and feed them. So in here, I have this. It's actually not a snuggle safe or, or not, um, I meant to say a snuggle kitty, but it does have a heartbeat and I got this at Ross. But I will, I don't, I couldn't find this online anywhere to put in the description box, but I did find the snuggle kitty to put in the description box, which works the same thing. Except the only one's made for cats, this one's made for babies, so the other one's actually better. And then I just have the a blanket folded up, and then under here I have a snuggle safe, which is just a microwavable heating pad. And then don't ever use the lid with the tote, but then it'll just slide under here. So this is just pretty much the little work area. Obviously, I have some more supplies in my supplies closet, but that will be a different video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment down below, like I said, any questions you guys have and any video ideas. So bye. Lipexo out.